going off the moves right here. I just want to mention too, Joe, again, Deontay is coming off back-to-back -back losses. Again, we mentioned that with Caleb Plant. Psychologically, he's got to get himself back in the swing a little bit too, right? Yeah, I, I think you do, the, you, you do that with the process of a training camp. And if you have a great training camp, you can expel those demons. And, ooh, wide right, right hand over the top. And, and, and I think he probably did that. And he's, uh, he's shed that... Uh, that bad feeling, and I think he's probably got a lot of confidence coming into this fight. Right it now. seemed that way, yeah. but again, I don't want to look past it completely. No, no, of course not. But you know, I mean, you got to put things in the past and move forward. And I think he's done that. And you know, he's spent a lot of time in the gym, a lot of time in sparring, a lot of time on the floor. So let's see if it pays off in this fight for him. And Hellenius, at the age of 38. Having been through everything that he's been through in his career, he's fought some top flight competition with mixed results, but you can see the experience of Hellenius in there, taking a good long look at Deontay Wilder as he shoves him back after the exchange. Again, not being swallowed by the moment early on. No, this is the first round, feel that round, and, you know, to me, Deontay's warming up. He's moving around, getting used to the ring. Wide hand. Kind of wide there by Hellenius, but just looking to touch his opponent. Throwing it out there. Both men in deep study of each other. Here in the first round, a lot of uh, kinetic energy, latent energy for both men. But I said, don't get hit by that right hand. Wow, wow, wow. It's over. Doctors rushing into the ring. Yo, yo, yo! Deontay Wilder is back with force. Yeah. Wow. Yo. Nice right hand. And see, 214 didn't hurt him at all. It hurt Hellenius. No, it didn't hurt Wilder at all. But I, I, I know. I, I, I know. Yeah, no. I chose to ignore that. But look, <laughs> I, I got to tell you, Deontay Wilder hits you with the right hand. It's just over. That's all there is to it. I mean, 99% of the time. Joe, this is why you don't follow a puncher around. Yeah. You know what it was? I think Hellenius, uh, you know, got a little bit of confidence and excitement that that Wilder was on the run from him. So we right. thought, you yeah. know. And then, uh, you know, took a couple swipes at his body and says, oh, this guy doesn't want to fight me. And then, bang, right hand off the side of his chin, and that was it. And that could not have gone better for Deontay Wilder. I mean, early on, barely breaking a sweat, he landed three punches, and he's done. And you know what? See, I, I got to tell you, sometimes you go, what would have happened had he not put in the work? This, right. this could, could have been yeah. different, but he put in the work, he put in the camp in Vegas, then moved to, uh, back to Alabama, did the sparring, put in all that work, and you know what? It paid off. He got out early tonight, he checked out early, and that was that. Yeah. That's how I look at it as well. And when I was when I was training, it's like, the harder I work, the easier the fight. Exactly, right. exactly. And he worked very hard. We're hoping for the best here with Robert Hellenius, who is still struggling to get up. Again, he was laid out with that shot. I think he is still, yeah, he, he's still on his knees yeah. from that tremendous right hand. And again, that's the sport, but you hope for the best with Hellenius. Give him a few minutes and he can clear his head. A one-shot knockout. His first knockout since Luis Ortiz, which was also a one-shot knockout with the right hand. Boom. Yeah, Lane has kind of helped to help the knockout because he was coming in, so that makes yeah. it a harder it, shot, exactly. especially with Deontay's power. Yeah, and Deontay just stepped over him and walked over the corner. He knew it was over. Great job, and I got to say it again. Malik Scott has found a way to get Deontay Wilder to buy into his system right now, along with Don House that he picked up as an assistant coach in this. And I'm going to tell you, it's paying off. Oh, yeah. And I think Wilder is going to have a real resurgence in the next couple of years. He's going to be... He wants to fight man. three more years. That's what he says. Yeah. And look, that also, again, puts in something else into the book. Another notch in the book when comparing him to... And it's Rocky Marciano, Mike Tyson, Joe Lewis, 
Jack Dempsey, Ernie Shavers, Lennox Lewis as one of the greatest punchers ever. Get rid of Tyson Fury, and this guy's record is uh, 43 and 0. Yep. Yeah, exactly, with 42 knockouts. Here it is again, so clean, so powerful. And, and you know what? That was that was almost like the uh, Muhammad Ali Sonny Liston chop right yeah. hand. It wasn't even a step in right hand. No. But it goes to show you the power he's got. In and that's fist. a rugged guy. He is 6'6, oh, yeah. 253, and he is starched in one yeah. shot. This was no uh, phantom punch, that's for sure. And let me tell you, it's not all about the big punch all the time, it's about the short punch. Yeah, you're so right. So the short punch is very effective, just like the big punch. Ali called it the anchor punch. It was initially called the phantom punch because they right. couldn't see it. Oh, you yeah. saw that. You, you, Alenius felt it. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, it just goes to show you, he doesn't really need to lay into you with the right hand. Just that look. Watch his little shot right here.